Disney Dreamlight Valley, a game I thought was intended to be cozy, relaxing, an imaginary world where one can have wholesome fun with innocent Disney characters, a place where dreams come true, love prevails, and worries slip away. wrong I was. Hello there, and welcome to my absolute chaos. Now, this is actually the second part in the installment of my Valley's lore, because there was just so much that it had to be split into two parts. So if you missed it, be sure that you check that one out first, because otherwise this one's going to make a little bit less sense. But, you know, you might still be able to put the pieces together. But regardless, I hope you enjoy the second installment of... My valley's lore. After Eric and I broke up, it led me to my next love, Gaston. Cause I think I'm falling for the villain and it's not looking like a good decision. Now, I really didn't see this coming. I did not see me falling for Gaston. Now, when they announced Gaston was coming, I had the unpopular opinion that he was going to be amazing. And I think we can all agree now that, that that's true. Gaston is top tier character in Disney Dream My Valley. He had so much phenomenal in the game. However, I didn't see myself falling for him and I didn't in the beginning. Now in the beginning, we met him in the desert and he was talking about needing water. And we got this on stream. Basically, me and everybody in the chat thought it was hilarious that Gaston, of all people, was complaining about being so thirsty. <laughs> so this is where the cutscene that I use in my live stream sometimes came from whenever it's time for like a water break. So I just wanted to like show this off real fast. That way it like makes sense if you ever see it in the stream. So thirsty. I know, Gaston, I should have brought Belle for you, but alas, I did not. <laughs> Belle is his tall glass of water. I know, we should have brought Belle. <laughs> that would have helped him stop hallucinating. I can't recall, but I do know the answer lies at the bottom of a cold, refreshing drink. So it's in Belle's shoe? Got it. Yeah, so I made like a little intermission scene based off the sci-fi dine-in theater at Walt Disney World, Hollywood Studios, um, just to kind of like, you know, have like a little water break and ever in, in, in case we wanted to like take a drink. I don't know, I thought it was funny. I end up falling for Gaston, but at first it started off with him just being a rebound. I wanted to make Gaston, not Gaston, I wanted to make Eric jealous. So I was like, what if I just start dating Gaston just to make Eric jealous, you know? And well, we ended up marrying him. Look at Gaston flexing. I just want to see him and Maui have a conversation. Gaston, when are you going to have a conversation with Maui? Yeah, he's trying to impress me. Maybe I should just start dating Gaston. No, I don't want to date Gaston. <laughs> Gaston will pay attention to you for sure. Oh, he will. Yes, he will. Anybody that can say anything to him about how big his muscles are and how pretty he is, he'll pay them attention. I think I may marry Gaston to make Belle mad. I was considering Gaston too. Maybe we should all just like go for Gaston to make everybody mad. Um, We should have a wedding where we all marry Gaston. <laughs> oh my God, I'm writing that down. <laughs> okay, next stream. <laughs> next stream, marry Gaston. A big Gaston wedding. Gaston, no! <laughs> You're missing your own wedding! Please! <laughs> 
please, no. This is not how this was supposed to happen. All right, who wants to marry me first? We have LeFou officiating <laughs> the wedding. Whew, okay, so I'm dressed up as Gaston because we could not get the actual Gaston to come to his own wedding. <laughs> I guess, maybe. Oh, look at how like cuddled up we are. Like my chin is on his shoulder. That's kind of cute, actually. <gasps> Did he just kiss me? <laughs> Gaston, did you just kiss me? Look at us, look at all of the brides. We're so cute. <laughs> yeah, so it was actually somebody in the chat. I'm not sure who, if it was you let us know but somebody in the chat was actually the one who came up with the gaston wedding extravaganza where we all marry gaston which is exactly what we did in the very next stream we well at least we tried to marry gaston quite frankly he kept running away from his own wedding so we had to like pretend marry gaston but whatever so gaston and i would stay together for quite some time and in the meantime we began noticing that Mirabelle had mind control powers. So I know it was briefly brought up in another one of my videos. I don't remember which one. It was briefly brought up in a clip before, but like, again, some of them are not really in chronological order, but like over the course of time, we really started to begin noticing Mirabelle having these super villain powers and that she was able to mind control other people in the valley. So Gaston and I would stay happily married for quite some time. Meanwhile, in game, we began to notice that Mirabelle seemed a little off and that she actually has evil mind control powers where she can control other people in the valley. Oh no, it's Kristoff. Kristoff, where's Mirabelle? I don't know. You probably have a different Kristoff. Hopefully. Oh, no, look, he's he's going to Mirabelle. They are going to me. Oh my God. We have drama. Yeah, here's your boyfriend, Mirabelle. You already got caught. You guys already got caught. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, she's doing her little dance to summon him back over. See, I want to put Mirabelle in the jungle, but I also want the drama. <laughs> I just had, oh, look, speak of the devil. Mirabelle, where's your boyfriend? Go find your boyfriend. Eve, destroy. No, don't wave, destroy. Eve, Eve, no. She was so ready to blast me, but she won't blast Mirabelle. Mirabelle, what power do you have over Eve? I'd like to know. She actually has none. We'll find out more about that later, though. Hmm? Oh, I was like, what's with all the butterflies? Oh, right, right, right. I'm standing next to Mirabelle. The butterflies have some sort of mind control. Oh. <gasps> Oh, it's like Jedi. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if, what if she has control over the butterflies? She's mind controlling the butterflies and therefore it's just evidence of her being able to mind control other people. And that's why Kristoff loves her. <gasps> it all makes sense. Mirabelle's power is mind control. Lore, I know we have Mirabelle lore. Mirabelle, we're on to you. Did you brainwash Kristoff? Because it, it was hard to believe that Kristoff being so madly in love with Anna would just leave her like that. Quite frankly, I was surprised. Okay, we're on to you, Mirabelle. You see that face? You see Mirabelle's face? Yeah. We're on to you, Mirabelle. I'm on to you. You're not innocent. Yeah, she's trying to act innocent. But Love's been standing right behind her. I wish my wings would get really big. You better walk away, Mirabelle. Look at look at her goofy grin. Yeah, her mind controlling the butterflies. I'm gonna get out of here before she tries to mind control me. No, I'm not weak. I'm not weak. Kristoff. Oh! <laughs> Kristoff! Christ yeah, go to your girlfriend. Go ahead. Oh, Martin, you've got lots of drama on your valley. <laughs> Martin's Valley is filled with dr Oh, look, he's literally hunting her down. Kristoff, I see you. Just go. So that was where we noticed that Mirabelle had mind control powers. And shortly after, it was apparent that she was building an army. Why do I hear Mirabelle's music? I'm literally traumatized. It's just her playing music in my mind to just 
throw me off. Mirabelle, I will never forget. Oh, right, that's why Mirabelle's not in the restaurant right now, because, like, we caught on to her and Kristoff, and Mirabelle and her mind control powers, and so she's been staying away from Kristoff lately. What is she doing over there? She's, like, airbending or something. She's probably building an army. Ooh, get her, beast. Get her! Oh, she's yelling back. Ooh, I didn't notice before, but did you see Remy running up to Mirabelle? That's because he's in the army. Also, it does seem like the Secret Society members do keep going after Beast. I, probably because he's so powerful, they want him on their side, but I don't think that Beast is for it. He, he doesn't really seem interested in joining the Secret Society, which I mean, good for him. But anyway, we could see that Mirabelle was trying to build an army and she does. But we also begin to see a little bit more of Mirabelle's powers. For instance, she begins to levitate around the valley. And I thought that this would be like some kind of temporary glitch, but no, she still does it. She still has this glitch. It's like well over a year later, she still levitates. And she kept like following me around and it was scaring me. It still scares me. She's just always there. You turn around and who's there but Mirabelle. She's always watching. Ken, take your pick. Mir oh my God, <laughs> Mirabelle! <laughs> Get away from me, Mirabelle. Mirabelle, I'm so terrified. She knows that I know. So how many did we collect? So Gemma found 24. There's a lot about this valley. That Mirabelle, I didn't even see her there. I did not even. Mirabelle, please leave me alone. Like, she never leaves me alone. I never used to see her this much. And now I see her all the time. Like, all the time. I don't want you guys to miss it. <laughs> Although sometimes drama happens okay, just... Listen. Mirabelle, you already said that. Stop trying to summon Kristoff. Oh, if you weren't here last time, we discovered that Mirabelle actually has mind control powers. See, look, that's why. Look at her. She's using her mind control to just glide across the valley. You saw it firsthand. Mirabelle and her mind control powers. She even can just glide. Mirabelle, we are so on to you. Yep. Yes, exactly. With the butterflies, Allison. Because butterflies don't do that, Mirabelle. Oh, look at her. She thinks she, she thinks she's so innocent. Yeah, you're not innocent, Mirabelle. We are so on to you. Mirabelle, are you following me? <laughs> I don't think I've seen anybody more than Mirabelle today. I've seen a lot of Scar, too. That's Simba, though. Um. Uh, <gasps> what? Oh, maybe because I'm on to her? I'm on to you, Mirabelle. Yeah. I'm on to you. You're trying to act all sweet and innocent. You're not. We know. You're not innocent. You are mind controlling these poor, innocent butterflies. You are controlling Kristoff. And you secretly have superpowers, don't you? You know why the house collapsed? The house probably collapsed because you made it collapse, Mirabelle. Because you are trying to mind control the Madrigal house and you've tore it to shreds intentionally, didn't you, Mirabelle? You intentionally tore the house to shreds because you wanted to take over. She's running away because she knows it's true. Yeah, we know, Mirabelle. We're on to you. Mirabelle, what are you? She's scaring me. I gotta, I gotta get away from Mirabelle. I'm actually terrified of her. Martin also has a haunted Mirabelle. Oh God, she's so evil. Did you hear her voice all the way? I mean, I don't know how well you can hear the game. I don't really stinks. What? Simba, where did you go? Mirabelle, what are you doing to the characters? Mirabelle, don't you dare hide from me. What did you do to Scrooge? And what did you do to Simba? She's like, I didn't do anything. Bye. Everyone here has their own. Mirabelle, stop stalking me. Oh, she's creeping me out today. We need to try to drown her again. Yeah, so she just kept following me around and she has kept following me around like a creep ever since. And then 
We ended up discovering that she actually gains new powers by embroidering superpowers into her skirt. So the more she embroiders her skirt, the more power she gains. What are you up to today, Mirabelle? I want to know. Jamie, I'm thinking about adding some new embroidery to my skirt. Is that like your mind control powers? Is that how you get new powers? You embroider them onto your skirt? Is it the skirt that's making all of this happen? What do you think I should add? Um, n nothing. I, I don't think you should add anything more, Mirabelle. I think you have enough powers. I'm definitely not going to say butterflies because... No, she's definitely getting powers from the butterflies. Flower, let's just a just a letter M, I guess. An M, like for Mirabelle or Magic L. I, I don't care. Either way, I like it. You know what? Just just do what you want, Mirabelle. Just get away from me. <laughs> we can see that Mirabelle's powers are beginning to grow. But luckily for us, at this point, a new protector comes to the valley in the form of a blasting robot. Thank goodness for Eve. And at first I thought Mirabelle had some kind of power over Eve or whatever, but like I was wrong. And you'll see in this clip why, because Eve scares Mirabelle big time. Aw, Eve's here, Simba's here. Of course you're here, Mirabelle. Of course Mirabelle's here. You think? I can't wait to bring it home. I'm sure you can't. It's probably painted with lead. You don't have to use paint or brushes, you know. You can make art however you want. Yes! Eve! She blasted it! <laughs> yeah, show Mirabelle. See, Mirabelle's like... <laughs> oh gosh, I don't think I want to mess with this robot. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Mirabelle. I would not want to mess with Eve if I was you. Mirabelle literally looking at Eve like, I don't know what to do about this because I can't mind control a robot. And also, she has a blaster. She's a robot with a blaster. Yeah, take that, Mirabelle. Eve is my protection from Mirabelle. She is the only one that can defend me from Mirabelle. Not even Nala can protect people from Mirabelle. But Eve? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mirabelle's no match for Eve. He would begin to receive new characters and Mirabelle slowly built up her army of a secret society. Now we would eventually call this secret society the eye luminati as in like eye like an eyeball because mike wazowski would come onto the scene and basically join the eye luminati after like five minutes of living in the valley and so because of his little eyeball um i named their secret society after him i'm still working on making like a cutscene image for it I have like big plans for it, so it's, it's taking a little longer and it's like not the top of my priority list right now. But like, yeah, that's that's coming eventually. But anyway, think of like the Illuminati, not Illuminati, think of the Illuminati pyramid with like the eyeball in the middle, but like it's Mike's eyeball. The Illuminati, you know, that's kind of what I was thinking. But yeah, so this, so the following clip is Mike moving into the valley and immediately becoming an enemy for obvious reasons. I'm not even recording. <gasps> no! Oh my God, I haven't been recording? I haven't been recording this entire, I've been playing for nine minutes and I haven't been recording. So clearly this is a sign because like when Mirabelle moved in, it glitched. When Mike moves in, I don't record. I think, I think I've maybe done that twice or maybe that was the only time. No, I think I've done it twice. I don't remember what the second time was, but this was the first time I had ever done something like this where I just straight up forgot to record the gameplay. And um, of course it was Mike because he's um, evil. The amount of drama that just occurred, the amount of drama that just occurred that I didn't even catch. Oh my God. <gasps> Maui just walked in the poopy. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so what had happened was, is that Mike, I give Mike my beautiful, freshly grown vegetables, and he starts comparing me to Remy. He's like, this isn't what Remy normally gives me. He gives me stuff that's better. So obviously I get all offended, right? And so I go up to Remy. I'm like, Remy, what are you doing? Ike asked me for fresh ingredients, but, I, but when I brought them, he complained that they weren't like what you made for him. So like make it cruddy like what you normally do, Remy. I always make sure that each of his meals contains some fresh compost. Hey, not everyone eats the same thing. He's eating poo! Mike, that's disgusting. Don't breathe on me. He wanted me to wear eye goggles because he was scared that I was gonna give him some parasite while he's over here eating poo. And so then I come over here and, you know, find the poo. And as it turns out, I wasn't even recording. But Mike, Mike, go ahead and get back in the poo because you know what, I'm gonna blame all of this on you. All of this is your fault. I lost nine minutes on the dot of footage because of you. What did you do? I don't know. I don't care. You just, you threw me off. Your vibes are off, so it threw me off. You know, I don't think I've ever done that. I think in the year and a half that I've been recording gameplay, I don't think there has been a single time where I like forgot to record the gameplay. So whose fault is this, Mike? It's certainly not mine. It's certainly not Vanessa. Yeah, see, she's innocent, so is Goofy. It's clearly your fault. You, Mike Wazowski, who is standing in the pile of poo-poo where you belong. Yeah, so he was clearly in cahoots with Remy for the longest time. Remy feeding him. Who do you think Remy was getting the food from? Who do you think Remy was getting the compost from? The little poopy compost that Mike was eating. Where did he get it from? Mirabelle. It was all coming from Mirabelle, obviously. Now we're going to go on to see how Mike is a straight up narcissist. Like just, oh, just a narcissist. Is that the scent of the applause of an adoring public after a one monster show? Oh God, he's a narcissist, isn't he? He said some things that kind of made me question it. Mike, I don't know that we're friends. We need a name for our enemies. So we have the teen girl squad for our clique. Okay, well, I take it that it didn't go like we hoped. Well, if you predicted that, why did you send me on this errand, Mike? Also notice how Vanellope is just like hanging around because we'll, we'll soon learn that she too is part of the Illuminati. I could have just given it to Solly. Solly probably would have liked it. Why did you make me give it to my best friend and Scrooge McDuck? I can't really blame them though. Yeah, like what? why would I want to give them something that stinks? It doesn't make any sense. What? What is the purpose of this? Why not? I happen to be an excellent, I happen to be excellent at what? <laughs> did he, did he just admit it? I happen to be excellent at blaming others. <gasps> oh, he just exposed himself. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Mike, Mike, you are not part of the Team Girl Squad. You are part of the Alex Sacrificial Squad. <laughs> Alex, move Mike to maybe number three on the list. Who's at the top? Probably Eric and Kristoff, right? Now we gotta turn our attention to the fine dining scene. Oh, yeah, I can get behind this. Yeah, how would we like to mess up the fine dining scene? Cause Tiana's not here yet. So the only one we can ruin is Remy. And I'm always down to ruin Remy. That's the spirit. What have you been thinking about, like little narcissist Mike? I'm ready. Well, I was studying up on the hottest trends in the food world. Let's ruin it. And elevating street food to hot cuisine seems to be all the rage right now. We do love fancified comfort food. Yes, we do. So what do you want to make? I say we make this interesting. I'll give you the ingredients to get and you see if you can make what I have in mind. Uh, sure. I'm not responsible if you give someone food poisoning though. Hey, you're the chef, not me. <gasps> okay, those of you that 
like Mike. Please explain yourself. How? How? He's already blaming me. I haven't even given anybody food poisoning. I don't have a choice in any of this, and I am still being blamed. I'm wondering how he got added to the sacrificial list after he just arrived in the valley. He's been here two days. He has been here two days and he's already made it on the enemy list. <laughs> so basically, the members of the Illuminati are Mirabelle, Kristoff, Belle, Remy, Mike Wazowski, Vanellope, and finally, Timon would join the Illuminati. So this is how all of those members, well, some of them, joined the Illuminati and became villains of the valley. Should we sacrifice Vanellope or is that too far? Um, see, no, it's not too far because she's a jerk. <laughs> she's a jerk. She consciously makes her choices. Yeah, she's a child, but you know what? <laughs> The things that she does, who was she? Oh, she was going after Goofy, right? Remember that time she was going after Goofy? No, 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 no. That There's no excuses for that. So we have to defend, if at the very least, to defend Goofy. And there we go. What do you think? Whoa, that smells bad. Oh, of course she likes it. Like Ralph's old house and garbage bad. Oh, you don't like it? Well, it's not an everyday scent, but it's still kind of cool. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Smelling this bad, it's like a superpower. That's the way of looking at it. Ugh, that backfired on us. Is this your villain origin story? She's already had her villain origin story. Are you kidding me? She's like probably, um, honestly, I feel like her and Mirabelle could be on the same team. Like Vanellope's like Mirabelle's little minion. Oh, look, there's Eric again. He, oh, I thought I clicked on her, whatever. Um, he's really just out and about today, isn't he? Is Remy invisible? Did you all see that? Remy was invisible. Am I being gaslit? He was invisible, right? Okay, so if you didn't see my last video, remember we were talking about like what name to give our group of enemies. So the group of enemies, it's not Belle, right? Belle's kind of like her own little separate entity. So it's like Kristoff and Eric and whatever. But like, as far as Mirabelle, Mike Wazowski, Remy, and who else? Who else is our enemy? Oh, and Vanellope. Wait, did I say Vanellope? Whatever. Our group of enemies, I'm thinking that their whole group can be called the Illuminati, like the Illuminati, but an eye, like an eyeball. And then like, we have the pyramid, the, the, the uh, ugh, I can't talk, the Illuminati pyramid. And then Mike Wazowski makes up like the eye for the pyramid. Basically me and Timon, like the second he opened his mouth, he was my enemy. The second he opened his mouth, he was off to a bad start. And that first video with him, it's, it's, it's basically just like, what, 20 minutes of me straight up laying into Timon the entire time. <laughs> like, I'm just laying into him the entire time. So there's like, there's a lot of footage I didn't include, but basically Timon is another narcissist. You're, you're going to see that in a minute. And, um... Yeah, I just, we, we're, I'm not vibing. I'm not vibing with that. Tumba, we're gonna vibe. Timon, we're gonna be enemies. Where do we start? By crushing you under my foot. Hmm, what if Jamie broke something? Yeah, like a neck. You know, a symbol of what makes him anxious. Timon, see? Pumbaa, you're so smart. Pumbaa is, Pumbaa already understands me. He, he's already on to it. I've got to, let's have him break something. Did Timon just take credit? I didn't get to read that. Did Timon just take credit for what Pumbaa said? Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. Oh no, I'm gonna break something. I need to be careful, I'm gonna break this on accident. And I came up with the perfect way. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have yet another narcissist. We have another narcissist in the valley. The Illuminati is growing stronger every single day. So after Mirabelle formed her army, now this is before Timon. So basically all of the Illuminati except for Timon is going to be in this. 
um, one of my subscribers decides that we are going to have a sacrifice. We are going to have a blood oath <laughs> where we sacrifice our enemies. So we go to his valley and we sacrifice the entire Illuminati up to that point. Also Eric and Maui and Woody because he doesn't like Woody. <laughs> Ooh, we should do a human sacrifice with- No, we have to torture Eric even worse than that. We gotta keep him around, you know? All right, I have your order. Oh, let's sacrifice Kristoff. Okay, the next whatever stream should be the blood of stream. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, it's amazing. Okay, so we have Kristoff here for the blood of- <laughs> We have Belle, we have Ariel, and Eric, <laughs> and Remy is already in the fire. Okay, so we have, we have the Illuminati over here. Got it. And Vanellope, yeah! <laughs> yes, all of them will be sacrificed, starting with you, Mike. Well, actually, starting with Mirabelle, because... <laughs> She like evil, evil. Are we walking around? Okay, okay, I'll follow you, Alex. <laughs> we are summoning the um, spirits. <laughs> this is so, we're just walking in circles. <laughs> Name a more chaotic stream, I'll wait. <laughs> Now, over time, Mirabelle would begin to grow stronger. And there was an instance where she actually attacked Eric and I came to his rescue. And then she like kept following me around. So we're going to see footage of what happened that horrible, awful day. <laughs> would be the perfect day to be at sea. Eric, listen, I know we're broken up with, but like, Eric, no! <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Do not come for Eric, listen. We may be broken up with, but I'm not gonna let him fall to your wrath, Mirabelle. It's just simply not gonna happen. Yeah, she's trying to mind control poor Eric. Listen, it's not his fault he's a stupid himbo, okay? 
I think Eric ran away to the cave because, um, look, Kristoff, there's your girlfriend. Come get her. You didn't even see her. Oh, she's, she's going to go find him. She's going to go find her boy, Kristoff. <laughs> okay, so first he wants me to die. <laughs> he wants me to go to Mulan and just be beaten up and whatever. Th then he wants me to, after I physically die, he wants me to spiritually and emotionally die. I have to unbanish Belle. Eric's gonna run right to her. I saved his life today. Those nice I ones are You know what? I can't be dead any more than I already am. Bell returns, and it becomes clear that the Illuminati has declared war. Look who's here. No, not Mirabelle. No, the homewrecker. The homewrecker running around trying to find... So what, she runs straight to Mirabelle and then to Mike? She runs straight so past the beasts. Where is she going now? Into the Forgotten Lands. I just realized I had a grammatical error there. Ignore it because uh, iMovie doesn't do grammar or spell check, okay? I just, I try my best. <laughs> I try my best, okay? But anyway, so Belle obviously has been banished from my valley. Now at that time she wasn't because I had to bring her back to do the quest with Mushu, but Obviously, after I was done, she was immediately banished. I went back inside and then back up just to make sure that she was banished. Okay, like she was gone. However, for some reason, Belle has been showing up to the valley when I'm doing like live streams and like doing multiplayer. Like when people come over, Belle comes back. And now that I think about it, I have not seen Ariel. She's the other one that I have banished. Belle and Ariel are the only two I have banished because I can't handle Eric being around them. But I never see Ariel around. But no, we've seen Belle multiple times on In My Valley during multiplayer. And this was the first time we saw that occur. Also, I apologize for the audio here. I was, when I moved, I started having audio problems. So you'll see here as well as like, when I start getting into like the Jafar stuff, my audio isn't that great. So like, I apologize for that. I fixed it. I fi it turns out it was the gain on my microphone the entire time. I like forgot that was even there. So that's why I was so confused. I'm like, well, it must be the program that I'm on, but then I would record on like other things, like other programs on my computer. And it was also bad. So I was like, it's clearly not the program. It's clearly my microphone. It's because I guess when I moved, picked up my stuff, took it here, I guess maybe the gain on the back of the microphone got messed with. And that's that's why I was having audio problems. 
and I kept trying to do things to fix it, which just made it bad in other ways, so. Anyway, moving on. Look, I'm like straight up my... What? I'm sorry, what? She's banished. Live on stream. The Live on... Are you kidding me? What is this? What? Do you see what I see? Does everybody see this? Why is she out? Why is the home wrecker out? Bell? What? I'm sorry, what? I suppose every village has people who only think of themselves. Did you hear what she said? I suppose every village has people who only think of themselves. Are you talking about me? Why is she out? Do they unbanish characters when people visit? What is this? Yeah, beat her up. Drown her. I will not rest until I see your stupid red cloak floating above the water and then your body sinking down to the bottom of the river. Get out of here, Belle. I'm like trapped. I can't even get out. <laughs> there we go. We'll get rid of that night, Thor. Get out of here, Belle. She's, she was listening in on our, yeah, you better run. She tried to collect the coins. Yeah, whatever, Belle. Oh my god, she was trying to listen in on our wedding plans. Oh my god. We're gonna have to add that to the lore video. She's looking for more people to um, steal faces from. True, she has a plastic surgery addiction. Okay, it's getting a little better. There's also less stuff in my glade. I don't know, what's happening? You think this is because of Belle? Is she doing this? Did she cause this? Did Belle break my game? It's laggy for you too, Alex. It's not laggy for you, Gemma. Gemma, not Gemma. <laughs> I'm like, I've had to play the whole thing on Gemma. No, Belle broke the game. She broke it. Her appearance broke my game. The only thing, like, I have had Martin, Alex, and Gemma, all of y'all have been here before. You have all been here before. I've been to your valleys. No, never had a problem. Never had a problem. But you know who hasn't been here? Belle. So I'm not sure what video, I think it was during a live stream or something. And, like, I looked through all of my footage, but I couldn't find this specific comment. Um, but basically, we had discussed on live stream that... Mirabelle was giving Remy his powers through food, but also that Belle had gotten her superpowers through Botox because we know how like they revamped Belle's design. We were like, oh, Belle got Botox from Mirabelle. And now all of a sudden she also has superpowers. So that's what we discovered. This That's kind of when we discovered that Mirabelle was giving other people superpowers. What is this? Oh, this is the note that I had about how Remy and Belle got their superpowers from Mirabelle. <laughs> Just a note that said Mirabelle gave powers to Remy through him eating butterflies and Belle's injected Botox. <laughs> Just more for the lore video. It's fine. Oh yeah, yeah. So she puts the butterflies, like pieces of the butterflies into Remy's foods and like particles of the butterflies into the Botox injections. Like she kind of breeds her own little butterflies. And it's not all of the butterflies. It's just the butterflies that follow her around. So we're not gonna demonize butterflies. She has her own little butterflies that are a problem, okay? And she uses those to do her evil doings. So during the war, and this is when things start getting real crazy. This is after Timon joins us. And this is only his level two quest. This is only his level two quest. Now more stuff has happened since I put all of these clips together, like I just filmed Timon's level four quest where more drama occurred, but the lore video stops at Timon's level two quest because I have all of these clips prearranged. But basically, during the quest, Timon and Vanellope join forces and go after my best friend, Scar which basically just like takes the entire Illuminati war to the next level. He is pretty a bad guy, but don't worry, I'll take care of it. 
What? Oh. Oh my god. I can't make this up. Were they talking about Scar? I was literally just going to go into my house. Look, he's already canoodling with another member of the Illuminati talking about how bad Scar is, I assume. She had some, let's say, inventive ideas to help take care of. You're kidding. What do you mean by that? What do you need to take care of? Oh, it's just a piffling little, you know what, never mind. He's after my best friend. Are you kidding? This is war. This is so war. Sounds like trouble. Ha! Huh, trouble for Scar. Exactly! Exactly! What do you mean by that? I just pointed out Scar's generally terrifying personality and Vanellope came up with an idea. Oh no. What did you two do? She thought maybe we needed a little anti-lion security around here and I happen to agree. This is like, this, what do you mean anti-lion? Scar's being discriminated against for being a lion. Scar, sweetie, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Timon is prejudiced. Timon is discriminating against my best friend and is trying to segregate the valley. Simba, that includes you. You're involved in this too. He wants anti-lion security. This is worse than I ever could have imagined. See, I went into this thinking, you know, Timon might be in the Illuminati. He might be a top member of the Illuminati because quite frankly, not even Mike went this far. Have you spoken to Timon recently? Yeah, I love that little fella. Of course you do. Of course you do. You're both in the Illuminati. Oh my God. A bit twitchy sometimes, but you can't really blame him, can you? Oh my god. What do you mean? I mean, you're glitchy, so we got twitchy and glitchy. I promised Timon I wouldn't say anything, but I'll give you a hint. It involves a net, but that's all you're getting. Just, uh, maybe don't go around Scar's den anytime soon, okay? Oh my god. They're gonna capture Scar and send him off to Oogie Boogie. <laughs> To go we gotta we gotta fly in this? Even Gaston's coming to protect Scar. He's not gonna let anything happen to Scar. Even Jafar is coming. See, everybody's coming to protect Scar. Even my ex-husband and my current husband, Timon. You are nothing in this valley. Wally's coming too. See, you are surrounded. You are absolutely surrounded. I'm sorry, what's happening here? What is Mirabelle doing to my best friend? <gasps> what is she doing to him? Thank you, Sully, for getting involved with that. Mirabelle, what did you do to poor Scar? Scar, are you okay, sweetie? What's going on here? I gotta keep an eye on Mirabelle. What's, what's happening? What, is something on your mind? I have a little thought exercise for you. This is bad. This is bad. See, do you see all of the signs here? We step back out into the valley and find Mirabelle coming after Scar because now she knows that Timon is scared of him. So as we can see, the Illuminati is growing stronger every single day. Now we're gonna take a step backwards and go back to my love, Gaston, because unfortunately things would not work out with Gaston and I 
Also, I forgot this, this is kind of when the audio starts to get bad. So I'm going to include as much as necessary to like get the point that I was heartbroken, but I'm going to cut out things where the, I don't know. I want to include more, like I really wanted to make all of this into like a video because it's all like on live stream. And I didn't want anybody who watches like videos to miss it, but the audio was just so bad for so long that whatever. Um, it does sound better without the headphones on. I'm noticing with my headphones on, it sounds worse than that. Oop, my bad. It sounds worse when you um, don't have, when you have the headphones on. But um, yeah, so the audio is not great here, but I'm gonna include, but it, like it's important for the lore. Okay. Cause I think I'm falling for the villain and it's not looking like a good decision. Fourthly, Eternity Isle, please. Everyone should be calling the place Gaston or maybe Gaston's Eternity Isle, noted. Everybody, this is now Gaston's Eternity Isle, no questions. I don't wanna see Eternity Isle anymore. It is Gaston's Eternity Isle. <laughs> is that your whole list? Hardly, oh God. <laughs> Let me see, more side kicks for me, daily performances to celebrate my feats, some sort of contraption to funnel eggs directly into my mouth even faster. You're being a drama queen, Gaston. Ooh, Belle's love and Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I can't go through this again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't but you know what, Gaston? Just for that, scratch what I said. Everybody forget what I said. It's just Eternity Isle. We're not doing any of what he said because of what he just said to me. How could you say that to me, Gaston? That would improve things around here quite a lot. You know what? I'm gonna lock her in a dungeon. I don't know, are we separated? I can't separate from Gaston. No, what he said to me, I can't let that slide. Okay, Gaston, I've got a question for you and I'm kind of afraid to know the answer. What's your heart's deepest wish? Oh God, this is the moment of truth. If he says Belle, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> if he says Belle, we are getting a divorce. If he does not say Belle, if he says anything else, we're still separated, but we can just take a break. We'll just be on a break. This, you're not gonna like the answer. <laughs> no. No. <gasps> no one's ever asked me anything like that before. My heart has so many wishes. <laughs> Am I gonna throw up? <laughs> I suppose there's one thing I wish for the most. Of course, I already have so many gifts. I'm handsome, strong, brave. Don't forget humble. Ah, yes, humble. Ah. I'm feared by some, adored by the rest. But there is one... <gasps> yeah. much time reading and getting ideas in her head. That's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm Brunette. I read. I was in a library today, Gaston. Why aren't I good enough for you? I'm Oogie Boogie. Wait. Wait a minute. Is this outfit cursed? Because remember the last time, the, the Eric video where the, all of the red flags and whatever, I was wearing the Oogie Boogie outfit. I was wearing the same outfit. This is clearly not my look. This is my I'm getting broken up with today outfit. <laughs> He's talking about you, Jamie. Can I just like cover the words and pretend? Is he gonna say Belle or can we just imply that it's me? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna continue. What does it say? What does it say? Does it say Belle? Does he does he give me a name? Do you understand Jamie? No! No! <laughs> I see you for who you truly are, and it's not somebody I want to be with anymore. Yeah, have you heard that there's plenty of other fish in the sea, Gaston? Have you heard of that? I don't want a fish, I want Belle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so Gaston, who knew 
what happened with me and Eric and how Eric broke my heart by cheating on me with Belle. Gaston basically let me know that he was in love with Belle. He was in love with the homewrecker, the one who ruined my last relationship. So he hit me right where it hurt. And it was, it was unforgivable. It was unforgivable. And I did try to give him a second chance. And he tried to talk, like, tried to talk to me about how much he, like, hates Remy or whatever. Um, I would include it in here, but, like, the audio is just, like, horrible. It, it's not really worth it. But um, I was like, I don't know. It's not good enough. But you know what? It's fine. Because it led me to my current love and the character that I am more in love with than I was with Gaston and even Eric. You know what? Gaston and Eric combined. I love this character and it's quite obvious to see why because he's the most handsome of all the characters we've gotten yet. You know what? It doesn't even matter because like, I don't know, just the, the things that he says, the way that he talks to me. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and see my current husband and how I fell in love with Jafar. You've been lost in a work hard you win back our trust i shall be very honest with you jamie that is not high on my list of priorities honestly i, I stand i i like that i like that jafar he doesn't care what other people think of him and i i have respect for that oh my god he's so tall look at how tall he is should we pretend to jade to jade <laughs> should we pretend to j date jafar and make gaston jealous and just have him beg for me back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll date Jafar to make Gaston jealous. Hmm, maybe alchemy works differently in Dreamlight Valley. I am impressed, Jamie. That is quite a well-reasoned suggestion. Um, why, thank you. You are most welcome. Oh, is it getting steamy? Is he flirting with me? I think he's flirting with me. I feel like it's getting a little bit romantic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Gaston. You should have put a ring on it, even though you did put a ring on it, but you should have maybe not talked about Belle in such a way in front of me. Fun. Jamie, we are uncovering the secrets of the universe. Our work is far more profound than the simple pursuit of a... We... <laughs> We are uncovering the secrets of the universe. I feel like it doesn't get any more romantic than uncovering the secrets of the universe with someone, you know. I've learned a few things too, Jafar. Do you ever think of that? I'm the mistress of all evil, for God's sakes. Cut me some slack. <laughs> you know what? You can figure it out yourself. Just figure it out yourself. No, wait. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we're in a toxic relationship, aren't we? This is toxic. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I, I apologize. Oh, he wants me. If I marry Jafar, should we have a Jafar wedding? <laughs> the Jafar wedding extravaganza. That is quite sensible. What would you suggest for working as a team? He loves me. Jafar loves me. Yeah, so I really didn't think that I was going to fall for Jafar, but like the push and the pull... I don't know. It just it just did it for me. But I wasn't technically divorced just yet. But in the next clip, it becomes official. My divorce with Gaston. Yeah, we'll get a diamond for Gaston for symbolism of our wedding and our divorce. I just like throw the I throw my ring at him. <laughs> Okay, so if I give him, okay, we'll talk to him first. And then like, if things don't go well, then I'll throw my diamond ring at him. <laughs> Jamie, hello. Yes, hi Gaston. Um, so I've been thinking and I, I still haven't really made up my mind yet on whether or not I want to stay with you. So what do you have to say, Gaston? Tell me about yourself. Tell me what you're thinking. I'm well known as the greatest hunter in the world. 
okay, so he's, he's talking about himself. He's flexing. Wolves, boars, I've hunted them all. Go ahead, name an animal. Gaston, quite frankly, I don't really like hunting. Like, the thing with hunting is that it's better than eating like a caged animal. Like if you're hunting to eat, it's the less cruel option than eating like a farm animal. But you trophy hunt. So, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really like hunting Gaston. Don't be ridiculous. He thinks I'm ridiculous. He's calling me ridiculous. What could there be to not like? Quite frankly, Gaston, you, I don't like you anymore. Besides, where do you think your meat comes from? From a farm. <laughs> um, you trophy hunt Gaston. Well, of course I do. <gasps> Antlers are my signature decoration. That's gross, Gaston. I don't support that. You know what, Gaston? That's it. I have something to give you. Take back this ring. This marriage is officially over. We are done. We are divorced. I want to serve you the papers, too. I got papers in my pockets. Here, I have something to give you. You see this paper? That's a divorce paper. That's a divorce paper. That's a divorce paper. We are over. done. I'm gonna marry Jafar. We're gonna have a big wedding extravaganza, Gaston, and guess who's going to watch? You. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna watch me marry this big tall man. So literally, immediately after I divorce Gaston, guess who comes running to me? And do I gotta travel back to the valley? Oh God, Eric! What are you doing here? This would be the perfect day to be at sea. He heard I was single and is now asking for me back. Eric, just because I. <laughs> he wants me back. That's too bad, Eric. Just because I'm single now doesn't mean I want you. Because I don't. I don't want you, Eric. Should I just find somebody else to give stuff to? Eric, what is it that you want? Oh god, he's literally following me around. <laughs> Eric wants him a goth girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, so Eric basically was asking for me back. And obviously not, because like I was already kind of starting to fall for Jafar. And you'll see why here. Just a moment, Jamie. Allow me to combine them all. He hands me a ring. <laughs> <laughs> this. This is not the stone I wanted. See, he's trying to hand me a stone. He's trying to hand me an engagement ring. It's just not what he wanted. He wants it to be perfect. He's trying to find me the perfect engagement ring. <laughs> oh my god, can you believe it? We're getting married. We're getting married. It's just not official yet. This is most disagreeable. Also, does he want, he wants all the gold to make me a golden ring. Now, Jafar, to be fair, my complexion is that of a summer, so I don't look good in gold. I'm down with silver, you know? So Silver's pretty, too. The stone is clearly activated. I feel it summoning emotions within me. <gasps> he feels emotions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, which emotions? You know, like love. You feel butterflies. I feel... Watching Jafar trying to propose to me, but like awkwardly failing. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't make this up. Oh my god. Jafar loves me. Can you believe? Oh my god. Gaston's literally watching. He's literally spying on me. Yeah. Yeah. You jealous, Gaston? You should be. Have fun with Belle. He's already taken. She's, or he's already taken. She's already taken. She's already dating Eric. Okay. Good luck with that. Good luck breaking them up. They're inseparable. I can feel the stone working its way into my mind like a parasite. Perhaps you would be more suited to such an artifact, Jamie. My ring. He's giving me a stone. 
I don't know, maybe it would be good for you to keep this on you. On your um, ring finger on your left hand, perhaps. OMG Jafar wedding extravaganza, when? I don't know, we'll have to pick a date. Oh my God, when? Hmm, now that I consider the matter more fully, I have learned much from this failure, and there is much that I may now attempt in the future. I learned a lot from my last failure too, because I, I'm recently divorced, <laughs> and you know, I, lear I learned a lot from my failed marriage. So. <laughs> yes, I believe I may find a use for this stone after all. Oh, we're engaged, we're engaged, it's official. Well, that's good to hear what kind of stuff. He's like, I'll give it to Vanessa. <laughs> oh, I will be sure to contact you anew should I require more assistance, but rest assured it will be for the good of the valley. <laughs> good to hear. Until next time. Ah, yes, we were discussing possible techniques for polishing gemstones. I had a theory of how to automate the refining common gemstones into their shiny variants. Did he hire you or something? No, I suppose I was motivated by pure scientific inquiry. I'm sorry, this is my husband. <laughs> this is quite surprising, Jamie. I am not sure I would be so generous were I in your shoes. So you see, he's reflective. He understands what he's done, and he understands how people perceive him. He's beautiful. He's lovely. I love his brain. Ah, uh, I grow nostalgic now for my youth, plundering libraries for secret knowledge. I don't know. Uh, no, imagine Matilda, but it's Jafar. <laughs> Like a little Matilda walking around in the library, except Matilda is Jafar. <laughs> I suppose a bit nostalgic. I find myself recalling fondly the afternoon I acquired Iago. Oh, he loves his little birdie. He loves his little animal companion. They're so cute. Such glorious days. I had dozens of nascent plots just waiting to be enacted. Oh. He loves Iago. The Sultan doing my bidding, Iago on my shoulder, offering the cutting commentary my lesser so deserved. Those were marvelous times before things became complicated. I, I think, I think I'm actually like falling for Jafar. <laughs> what? Like what is happening? <laughs> Jafar, are you used to planting these snakes here to mind control them? I literally love this man. He's mind controlling my ex-husband because he finds him to be a threat. <laughs> He's threatened by my ex-husband. Jafar, baby, you don't need to you, you don't need to be threatened by Gaston, okay? He's all bronze and no brain, and you're all brains and I mean, quite frankly, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're no bronze, but you're so intelligent, it doesn't really matter, okay? I'm going to get that magician a piece of my mind. Don't you hurt my fiance, Gaston. Don't you touch my fiance, okay? I understand that he tried to mind control you and I will talk to him about it, but we don't need to fight over me, okay? <laughs> we don't need to fight over me, Gaston, it's fine. Clearly, I fell madly in love with Jafar, still madly in love with Jafar. I don't think, I think he's the one. I think, I think he's the final boss. I think he's the final boss of my romances. I hate to break it to you all, but I just don't see it's breaking up. I love him. I mean, look at him. Look at him in this next clip. He's mind controlling Mirabel. You see this in the back here? He was trying to mind control Mirabel. I was like, I can't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot make this. I was thrilled. I'm like, that's my man. That's my, that's my fiance, you know? <laughs> Try to on Gaston in my valley, but you can't control a brain that doesn't make this. <laughs> Oof. Jafar is already winning my heart. He controlled, or he mind controlled Kristoff me. So he's after all of our, like, well, I wouldn't say Gaston's an enemy, but like, he's after all the people that are either our enemies or have done us dirty. Right? That's interesting. Jafar, you can't be controlling my ex-husband, okay? I know that he's an idiot, and I know that it's fun to control him, but you just can't do it. And you can't control poor Rapunzel and Scrooge, and uh, you just, you can't. As ever, I am expected to do everything for you. 
<laughs> what? Don't break my heart, please. What, what if we break up live on stream? What if the wedding's over? What does it look like I am doing, Jamie? What do you mean? Jafar, don't break my heart. He's breaking my heart. <laughs> Jafar, the mechanism is complete. Oswald has l was lured to his doom. The alchemical pro process has already begun. Just wait, Jafar. I'll figure out how to stop you. Go ahead and try. Surprise me. This is a really toxic relationship. <laughs> We did it! Yay! Where did he go? I love this man. <laughs> I think this is the most in love I've ever been. <laughs> and so then that leads us into the Jafar wedding extravaganza. Kristoff, you're not getting married to Jafar. He's trying to interfere with our wedding. Kristoff is trying to interfere with our wedding. Kristoff, where's Mirabelle? Now he's trying to like get us into a trance or something. <laughs> Kristoff is crashing our wedding. This is unacceptable. I cannot believe this. Far, do you take Jamie to be your lawfully wedded wife? <laughs> this is exactly the type of chaos I signed up for. <laughs> Yeah, see, something's going down. Because Kristoff was here, and then we had Mu Well, he walked away as soon as Mulan got here. Not this man! Not this man! Show me up! Yeah, and then Eric, of all people, crashes the wedding. He doesn't want me to be happy. He regrets all of his life choices. You know what, Eric? Maybe you shouldn't have let Mirabelle mind control you. Maybe you should have saw through her mind control. Maybe our love should have been enough for you that you could have seen through her mind control and not have cheated on me. I've moved on to bigger, better men. Okay. And one thing that Jafar does that you never did for me, Eric, is that Jafar actually fights for me. He fights against the Illuminati every single day. Kristoff is actually like hiding behind the partner statue here, like way in the distance. Jafar goes running to Kristoff and tries to mind control Kristoff. Husband. There he is over there. Unfortunately, um, we do have to hang out with Timon today in order to do his quest, but I did get him up to level 10. I'm currently at level seven with Pumbaa. So after we finish all of Timon's quests, we'll move on to Pumbaa. Nice to see you, Jimmy. It's not nice to see you, Timon, my latest enemy. We're definitely enemies, but is he in the Illuminati? I don't know. And now notice that Mirabelle appears. Kristoff's still kind of hiding behind the partner statue, but notice how Jafar notices Mirabelle and starts walking after her. Let's go talk to my husband. Jafar, honey, he's walking away. He's running away. No, just kidding. He just doesn't know that I'm coming for him. He loves me very much. He loves me more than Eric loved me. He loves me more than Gaston loved me. See, yeah, so he wasn't walking away from me. He didn't really even notice me at first because he was so busy trying to track down my enemies to mind control him or to mind control them so that he could protect me that at first he didn't even notice me. But then when he does notice me, he stops because he's like, oh, well, you know, I'll mind control them later. My, my wife is here, you know? So like behind the scenes, I didn't notice this at first. I didn't notice until I was looking through the footage that he had even done this. Like, he's just... He's the best. He's the best of all of the men I've ever dated. And you know, he might not be the most popular choice, but he doesn't need to be because he's mine. <laughs> but anyway, so that's kind of where the lore has ended. I am still doing quests with Timon as of now. I still have to do quests with Pumbaa, Tiana, Mulan, and Mushu. And we have the DLC coming in 11 days. Oh my god, I'm running out of time. <laughs> so surely there is more to occur. And maybe down the line when eventually there's even more lore because y'all know there's gonna be more drama. There's gonna be lots more drama. <laughs> Forever. Um, eventually down the line, we'll do another lore video to add all of the new stuff, whatever happens into that so that way we can make sure that we were up to date and we remember everything and just to kind of keep a log of 
all of the chaos that occurs on this channel. But thank you for all of you that have subscribed over the past couple of years. Actually, this was supposed to be my 1000 subscriber video when I hit that milestone. But at the time my work life had gotten like way unbalanced. I was like working 70 hours a week. So <laughs> it never came to fruition. But now finally, after all this time, the lore video has arrived. So thank you for all of you that have stuck with me and have added to this because it's because of you that some of this stuff even like <laughs> came to light. So you have added so much to this channel. So like, thank you for being here. I appreciate you all so much. And I can't wait to see where this game takes us and all the exciting and fun things that it has in store for us. So thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Disney Dubai Valley chaos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Making